I was cruising around the internet and I always wanted to record my screen and I tried a bunch of screen recorders and they didn't really work uh, because I have Windows 7. Um, it's an antique, it's about 15 years old and it doesn't have the resources to run a lot of uh, high-end uh, Windows 10 uh, applications even though it's a 64-bit system. So I was looking around and I found this one here. Let's go here. Uh, flashback, it's called Flashback Pro 5 and uh, it's, it's a freebie and it works on low-end Windows 7 and it's what I'm using to record this video and it puts the uh, yellow circle around the mouse which isn't bad in some instances and it does a decent job so uh, that's the one I went with so anyway and then I was uh, my, ne my next problem was um, I have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and it's a hand-me-down. I use it for all my drone piloting. The screen's hard to see and tapping your buttons is sometimes you hit it and sometimes you don't and the touch screen sometimes works and sometimes doesn't and I have a, a thick case on mine. So I was wondering what can I do? Can I operate my Android phone from my computer. For instance, if I wanted to really look at um, flight plans, or if I wanted to look at uh, my flight logs, or um, set up my uh, settings uh, better and quicker uh, before I went flying, or even in the Parrot case of making pre-made flight plans, or even in Hubson making waypoint flight plans and then going out and flying them right away. Um, so I looked around and there was these three here, it says uh, Serpy, or whatever, Scurpy, and Air Mirror, and Visor, these three here. But um, I looked at Air Mirror, and I looked at Visor. So this was Air Mirror, and it works better on Windows 10. It's a phenomenal uh, piece of software. It works really, really well but you really do have to buy the license so you have to look around for a licensed version uh, me being cheap I went with Visor it's a freebie and it works great it does have ads uh, it warns you a pop-up comes up and you just back out of it and continue on doing what you're doing but I'll, I'll, I'll show you a demonstration of it and you don't have to download an application to the desktop it basically runs in Chrome. You start Chrome, go to add-on extensions, type in Visor, and you get this. And I've already installed it, so it's added to my extensions, but from then on, I just put it in a shortcut, and it comes up, and I, I launch the app. Well, when I go to, I turn my phone on, and I just just turn my phone on now and it's connected by USB which is the better way and I'll click the launch app and right here you'll notice it's found my phone and I say view and it's looking for my phone and that's my phone well half my phone but that's for demonstration purposes this is all I want to show you I don't know if I can shrink it down any no, I can't. So this is my phone, part of my phone. And what I'm interested in is I've got the DJI, I've got Parrot for the Anafi, I've got Hubson for the Xenos, I've got Femi for the X8, and I've got uh, Free Flight for the um, Bebop 2. So let's just go into DJI. Just click once, and it changed the landscape and it'll fit in this window that I'm recording. So if you're on the DJI app from here, because I'm now operating on my desktop, I click Profile, and I can go into More, and I can look at some of these flights that I had. So let's look at the most famous flight. Remember this one? This was the, the crash crash video okay you have to use your fingers on your phone to move it over but if I click once and drag 
So you see my crash video? It went all down here and went splat and I found it here. Okay? And you can you can all the way to eight times. You can watch it, you can go to there, and you can watch it go wherever it's going and all kinds of stuff. So you can use your desktop to view all your flight logs or whatever you want to do, okay? So then, if I, I can use these back here just like on my phone, so I can go to the home button, okay? And then I can go into Parrot, go into my Parrot, and we're at the, uh, the Parrot app uh, for the Anafi, okay? And we'll go from here. So, here we are, this is the screen I'm looking at, and you can use your mouse, as you can tell, and I hit fly. I just want to get rid of this. There we go. And we're going to enter, and we're going to go to the flight plan. And this is the beauty of being able to use your uh, computer to do your flight plans, because uh, you can click and drag and do anything you want. The only thing you can't do is uh, shrink the screen. So if we look in here, I've already made one. We'll load this one up. Okay, looks like a bit of a mess. But if I double click on the screen, it gets bigger. Now what it was, was basically a trip around the subdivision. The only problem I had was on the landing, as you'll see when I get, I'm just going to adjust it a little bit here. And see how easy it is to move it around? The only problem I had, and the other problem is that it's it's got ads, but anyway, uh, the landing was a couple of meters to the south. I just want to move that to the north. So I want to move number 14 up a little closer. number one. So 14 was the last one I, and as you'll notice in the video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him there just slightly and a little bit closer. Yeah, that should do it. And I'm going to move this guy right on top of it. There we go. So that should be pretty good. Uh, there. There you go. So we'll just go in a bit and in a bit and in a bit. A bit more. Okay, so as you can tell, it goes around the subdivision a bit. And you can move it around, all this kind of stuff. And you'll, you'll see why I did that at the end. But you save it, and this one is saved as, as House 2, so I'm just going to save it. And you can start a new one and all this kind of stuff. I'm going to save that one. I'll run that one tomorrow, but I'll run this one right now, and I'll show you. And I want to make another one where I'm going to go around the whole subdivision and around the lake. So that's how easy it is. It's, it's, it's an amazing little program. It's called Visor. Now on to the video. Here we go. Flight plan. Let's see the new flight plan. This should be the flight plan. Should be good to go. Load. Okay, what do we got? We're going around the block. Okay. It's just that flight plan should be 45 meters up. Get ready to cancel at any time. There it goes. 
Yep. It's going to be good and it's supposed to land at the end. It's supposed to land. So let's see if it does. Where's it going? It's going backwards. It should be ready to turn. Let's make this bigger. There it goes. Let's point that camera down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can see where we're going here. And where's it going? It's going down the road, but it's turning already because on this you can see it's turning. There it is. This should be our left hand turn here. There it goes. Let's see where it goes. See where it goes there. And we're going to look at the. It should be six meters per. I can always stop it by hitting the stop button. So this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And actually, what I was going to do was just push the button, let it start, and then turn the controller off and see what would happen. And it's supposed to complete it and finish it. And if it goes out of distance, it's supposed to finish flight plan and complete it. So I really have no idea where it is. It's halfway around the loop. It's only a six minute, yeah, it's only a six minute flight, I believe. Um, but I got 74% on the battery and 77% on the controller. And it should get 20 minutes, at least 22 minutes out of the battery. So it should be pretty good. So right now it's going to it's all 45 meters high, so it's going down here. And it's cold. It's about minus 10 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty cold. And what I'm interested in is, what's it gonna do when it comes back? I programmed it to land. So let's see if it lands the same place it took off, which is about seven or eight meters inside from the building here. Now the thing is, I've lost connection. I've lost connection to the, um, the very poor Wi-Fi. It's lost connection. See, it's at the bottom. It's turning around. It doesn't matter where I point this thing because it's going to complete its mission. So right now, my fingers are really cold. So regardless of whatever, point control towards... I am pointing it, but it doesn't matter. It'll finish its, uh, or at least my VBOT used to. So I keep getting these messages, poor Wi-Fi, poor Wi-Fi. So pretty soon it should be coming back with good Wi-Fi because it's going to be coming down to where the tower is, about 200 meters down the road. So right now we're 500 meters away, still 45 up. It's coming to one of the last points where it's going to make a right-hand turn. And I can see the video there, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'm not going to muck around with the video. If I look at it quickly, see, I can see it's turning up towards the house here. Even if I point it down a little bit, yeah, you can see. And on the map, which is more interesting, you can see where it's coming. And it's at the bottom of the screen here. Yep, there it is. It's coming up. And we're at 59%, 60%. It should be seeing that car going down, which is going to be interesting. And as you can see, it's going to start to turn to the, to the left. Because the next turn is a left turn. So it's a progressive. It's not constant. If it was constant, it would be straight, left turn, right turn. But progressive, it slowly pans around. So right now, 
we should be coming home and I've got some I've got good uh, yeah. I hear it there it is there it is and I see it and it should come to the front of the driveway make a turn and come in towards me there it is clockwork so it should stop about now and come down Oh, that's excellent. Oops. There we go. That's the quick way of doing it so it doesn't get dirty. It registers a crash. Every time we flip it over, it registers a crash, but it doesn't do any harm. Okay. But that's the easy way of doing it. I just didn't want it to land in the snow. So let's put this away. And the one thing about the anaphy is, and the parrots, they start and stop the video all the time.